In this video, we'll make a wireless sensor network node that transmits the analog outputs of seven MQ series gas sensors. In addition to this, we'll make a receiver node which helps us receive the values sent by the transmitter via the serial interface of a PC. The transmitter can easily be used by a power bank and it can be mounted to any desired location. NRF24 transceiver module and Arduino Nano are used in both the receiver and the transmitter. In the experiment part, by exposing lighter gas on the sensors, we'll observe the values by using serial monitor, serial plotter, and a custom Python script which saves the received data and plots its graphics. Let's see our connections starting from the transmitter. 3.3 volt output of the Arduino Nano is connected to the VCC pin of the NRF24 module. Ground pin of the NRF24 module is connected to common ground. Here pay attention that we have a 100 microfarad capacitor between the 3.3 volt pin and the ground. CE pin of the NRF24 module is connected to the D8 pin of the Arduino. CSN pin of the NRF24 module is connected to the D7 pin of the Arduino. Serial clock pin of the NRF24 module is connected to the D13 pin of the Arduino. Master in slave out pin of the NRF24 module is connected to the D12 pin of the Arduino. Master out slave in pin of the NRF24 module is connected to the D11 pin of the Arduino. The sensor modules are connected to the analog pins. In my setup, since I had a problem doing the soldering the A2 pin, that's left blank. The seven sensor modules are connected in a row from A0 to A7, excluding A2. Here you should be aware that the 5V and the ground connections of the sensor modules are not shown for simplifying the diagram. Make sure that they are connected to 5V power supply properly. And in this setup you should connect the Arduino to the USB power separately. Now let's see the receiver module. The receiver module has exactly the same connections between the Arduino and the NRF module. And it only has the USB connection to the PC that we are going to use. The next section of the video has some time-lapse recordings of me building the transmitter module on a circuit board. If you'll do this project on a breadboard, you can skip to the next section for the code and the experiment.
So these are the two modules that we are going to use. This is the receiver node and it's consisted of Arduino Nano and the NRF module. And this one is the transmitter module. You can see that it's connected to seven MQ sensors, actually sensor modules. And it has one Arduino Nano and the NRF24 module. Uh, these pins are for supplying VCC and ground from the power bank. So let's see the other side of it. You can see that the cabling is a mess. It's better to print out a PC before this. All right, now let's take a look at our codes for the receiver and the transmitter. Let's start with the receiver side. By the way, I need to mention that for the NRF part, I took the portion from the automechatronics.com. I have made some modifications and also uh, changed the data to be received and data to be sent. First, we are including the necessary libraries and then we are defining the C and CSN pins that are connected to the NRF module. And we define this address and this address needs to be the same at the receiver and the transmitter side. In the setup, we are beginning the serial communication and then we are starting the radio with the following commands. And in the loop, while the radio is available, we are defining this data to receive array, which is consisted of eight elements. This eight elements is corresponding to the eight analog inputs of the transmitter side. Even though we have seven sensor modules connected, we are using all of the modules in order to make the ADC work properly. And then we are reading the radio with the data to receive and receiving the size of the data to receive. And we are defining this string to print, which is the first value of the array, space, second value, etc., etc., ending at the eight element. However, the index will be seven. And then we are printing this on the serial monitor. Now let's take a look at the transmitter side. Here I tried to demonstrate the connections that you saw on the transmitter module. So the sensor MQ8 is connected to analog input 3, MQ5 is analog input 4, 7, etc. And we are again defining these libraries. We are showing the connections for the NRF module. We have the same address inserted here as well. Then we are defining these sensor pins. I showed that which sensor module they are connected to. Here you can see that we have this black pin because I could not do some soldering to the A2 input. That's why we have seven sensors here. In the setup, we are giving this six seconds of delay. This is because uh, in order to make the sensors module uh, ready. And then we are beginning the uh, radio communication. And in the loop, we are reading the analog values from the analog pins and assigning them to these values. You can see that the sensor value three is connected to the sensor blank pin. And then we are defining the state to send array, which is consisted of eight elements. And we assign these values respectively. You can see that sensor value three, which is actually not connected to any sensor, will be seen at the end of this array. Then we do the radio write and send the data and size of that. And then we have a 10 milliseconds of delay. Now I'm going to connect the receiver module to my laptop and I'm going to connect the transmitter module to the power bank, and that's going to start sending the sensor data. Okay, now let's first connect our receiver module to our laptop. Okay. And we have our transmitter module already connected to the power bank we have here. You can see that we have one connection which is feeding the seven sensors from one input and the other port from the power bank is feeding the Arduino Nano. And let's turn on this power bank. Okay, we have power in the Arduino Nano and the modules. 
at the moment we should be receiving the data to the receiver module okay now let's open serial monitor all right you can see that we are receiving data we have one two three four five six seven and eight columns and we are assuming that these are healthy data from the sensor modules actually i can test these with a lighter gas we can check which analog input is connected to which sensor module from our transmitter code okay so if you look at this you can see that this one is mq8 connected to a3 this one is mq5 connected to a4 mq6 connected to a7 and on the other side this one is mq2 mq3 mq135 and mq4 now let me expose some gas on these sensors and observe the output you can see that we had some increase in the third column if i'm not wrong let's check it yes let me continue to the other ones as well okay this one is uh, the fourth column i guess i need to check the code by the way not all the sensors are meant to respond to this gas which is probably propane but let's continue yeah, okay we received some increase in the seventh column let's try it once again yeah that was a7 let's check this one we had some increase as well but i couldn't check which one let's see it that was a6 let's continue Okay, you can see the increases in the related columns now let's do another thing let's use serial plotter instead all right this gives a better demonstration can see the increase so both sensors are responding to it you can see it we have this increase yeah you can see that some are responding more some are responding less due to their sensing capabilities not all of them are responding to this gas that is included in the lighter i will demonstrate one last thing actually i've written a python code previously in order to process the data that is received from the serial port and i modified it according to these gas sensors let's see it now let's run the script that i've written so it's asking how long it's going to take the experiment so it's going to take those records and store it in a text file let's keep it short let's say 15 seconds and let's enter to start the experiment it's giving the output in bytes you can see that this is the value array that we received in the serial monitor so it's taking these and writing these into a text file says that the experiment is complete when we check the directory and let's check the time this one so if we open this we have our data stored in a text file which has a unique id in the beginning for each measurement the date and time 
this is the hour and these are the columns that we saw earlier eight columns corresponding to eight adc inputs from the transmitter now in another python file let's plot these values it's asking us which file so let's give the same file name and it has plotted the output however uh, we forgot to do something we didn't expose any gas to it if you want let's do it very quickly so let's try it once again let's say again 15 seconds for example and start it and let's expose some gas to these all right 15 seconds is finished let's see the content now we have this new file let's check it okay it has some increases and decreases we can see that and let's see the plot of it all right let's give the file name again okay we can see that we can observe the changes in the sensors you can change the names of this it's written in my python code so we see the responses of the sensors to the gas that we had exposed if you want you can save this figure as well this was the end of the video i hope it's been useful for you if you have any questions or comments please write them in the comment section thank you for watching and see you in another video